Hey guys, I'm Lance Bass, and you're watching That's Hot. In the fucking first interviews, yeah. she said he did one thing. And that's all she said he did. He admitted, I'm obsessed with getting head for transgender. I was like, yes. He, okay, I, he says, and I don't do anything else. I don't fuck. I don't get fucked. I don't kiss. I don't hug. But I like good head. And I'm obsessed with it. I was like, I'd be damned. And like 500 people emailed me like, that's crazy. They said, LL's probably next. He's probably going to get caught and have to admit it. And then everybody was like, I said, and then all these people said, I thought you were lying. He says, I think you're telling the truth. I believe you're telling the truth. So Eddie won't say comments. LL dropped the suit. This guy's in GQ. These motherfuckers are doing this shit. I said, you'd be surprised. They ain't the only ones. That's hot.com. When I read the GQ article about Mr. C, I thought it was wonderful that he admitted that he had an obsession for a long time with transgender escorts. Uh, it gave me much relief, first of all, that what I'd said that he did, which was only one thing that I've ever known him to do, he admitted it in GQ magazine and just really came out. And I admire that. I think it's wonderful that he doesn't have to hide. I do know what it means to hide something that you don't want anybody else to know. And it's, it's shameful. And it makes you feel fearful. And um, why do you think he finally came forth in a, a middle of truth? Well, with so many arrests, and the arrest record was published on, I think, Media Takeout. Jackie Jasper site, Diary of a Hollywood Street King. I, I, I really think there was nothing else to do once it was, you know, discovered. But just tell the truth, to be honest. And I, 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 maybe his management encouraged him to do so. I'm not really sure. But I think it's wonderful that he did that. I'm very proud of him. Uh, do you think maybe it's because his uh, West Indian background that he didn't uh, own him to it? Because, you know, on, on the West Indies, it's kind of like a custom to, to, to be on the straight and narrow. I don't think any black man uh, really wants to do that, whether he's West Indian or not. Uh, there are others who are doing this who are not West Indian, who are just African American, Caucasian. There seem to be some type of shame that you like it. There's some type of uh, shame that you engage willfully, willingly, with an adult of transgender nature. And uh, it's always been that way. I've been in this life for 25 years. You know, the guys have always had some type of shame about it. They do it regularly and consistently, but there's been shame, and I don't understand why. If you engage in an activity that you enjoy, why do you have shame and fear about being exposed? I don't understand that. I'm glad that he did it, and I, it took all that to make it happen, but I, I would like to see others who engage in the activity to acknowledge it, to not demean it and put it down. So I think it's cool. And um, I know that you're doing, doing your film, you have a film. Uh, tell me about your film. Uh, the film is based off Chapter 7 in the book called Erotic Professionals. It's called Heart of a Woman. It's being directed by the British director Keith Holland. It's starring transgender actress and singer Angelica Ross, uh, Elizabeth Rahm, who was in American Hustle, uh, the movie that was just nominated for an Oscar, uh, Rachel Sterling from True Blood, who was also in Wedding Crashes with Vince Vaughn, Leslie Jones, who's the BET comedian, was in that movie with Martin Lawrence. And uh, Daniel Soberay, the lead male, who's the soap opera star from Days of Our Lives. So the movie is cast, and we are seeking investors. We spoke to some really powerful people, and we're waiting for some answers, both in the United States and abroad, for getting financing to shoot this 18-day uh, movie um, and get it done. We're hoping to do that this year. Uh, Heart of a Woman, which would be the first film to cast a real African-American transgender with a African-transgender singing the 
feature song, Heart of a Woman. It was written by her. So it would be very cool. I would like to be that first to showcase a, a black transgender telling all about what a black transgender went through in 20 years. And, and how much, uh, well, how close is the film to the book? Uh, is it going to mention like Mr. C, LL, or is it? You have to wait and see. But I will tell you the script is popping, full of drama, some good sex. It's very entertaining. And it's 99% accurate to the book. I don't even know who the camera. That's hot.com.